Hey, good day, it's Dan here, and uh, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about one of my favorite subjects, uh, money. <laughs> I was reading through some notes, I uh, keep in a binder here, I've got uh, event uh, notes that I like to review from time to time. One of my mentors, uh, Mike Hobbs, he calls uh, these notes uncashed checks. If you don't go through them every once in a while, and implement what you've learned. So I like to review my notes every now and then, uh, pick up things that I may not have uh, considered right away after the event, or maybe, you know, I, I, I'm in a different place when I'm looking at the notes, so it'll resonate better with me. So I like to go through my notes occasionally. I've been reading this book by Tony Robbins, Money Master the Game, as well, lately. Great book, if you get if you get your hands on it, have a look. Actually, you can go to my blog, dangerkey.com. Uh, I actually found the YouTube audio of the whole book. So I posted the link there if you want to listen to it instead. Uh, the link is there. But I got thinking, I found this note in, in my uh, event notes. And I was at a seminar about a year ago, I believe. And the gentleman leading the event asked the audience the question, what is money? And of course, a lot of the common answers were, you know, this stuff is money. This, uh, I can't even call it paper money anymore here in Canada. It's kind of a plasticky stuff. Um, here, maybe it's this. There's my million dollar US, uh, imitation US dollar. I wonder if a Canadian bank would give me 1.25 million for it right now. The exchange rate's really good, I should go ask. I highly doubt it, but that's besides the point. Some some people thought, you know, maybe money is this stuff. I carry a silver coin. Gold and silver for centuries was was money. That's what people considered to be money. And, uh, you know, I still think this is, when it comes to money, this is the stuff I prefer over paper. Because the paper stuff really is is... It's what we came up with as a definition of money at this event. The definition of money was an idea backed by confidence. This stuff is only backed by the confidence of the people that use it. If we ever lose confidence in that money being worth what it, what the value on the face of it says it is, the system falls apart. And so I've been doing a lot of thinking about that lately. Uh, especially seeing some of the events going on around the world. Um, so much happening in the world that it would take forever to list it all. But some some really big moves happening around the world that, you know, I'm watching the U.S. dollar skyrocket against everything else. And, and yet when I look at why that might be, the only conclusion I can come to is confidence is because it's been the reserve currency for so long, everybody's flocking to it in these times of uncertainty. And yet, from my perspective, that there's, they shouldn't be that confident in the U.S. dollar because there's no more indebted nation on the planet. Uh, the U.S. dollar has printed more money than anybody else and really has, there's nothing backing that money. They're, they're insolvent. So I don't know how much longer that can last. And so my hope with this video is that you'll start to maybe question what you think money is. Maybe, here, here's a great suggestion, go to my website at moneymentoracademy.com and sign up for the free trial and start going through the materials I've put together in there because I think your eyes will be open wide by what you discover. Money's not what we've been led to believe it is for decades now, at least, um, ever since the, uh, the U.S. dollar became the reserve currency on the planet back after the Second World War. And uh, certainly since the 70s, when it was unhinged from gold, it, it backed by the confidence of the people behind it, of the nation, uh, of the people around the world. And the world's losing confidence. So that's my encouragement for you today. I thought that was interesting when I saw that note in my, my uh, binder of event notes. That's an uncashed check that I hadn't implemented. So decided to shoot this video and maybe share that idea with you. 
see if I can get the gears turning a little bit on what you think money is and uh, and hopefully you'll take some action steps towards protecting what's most important to you and um, you know I'm not here to provide financial advice or anything but but I think you know if your eyes are opened at all to what money is you might make some different choices with where you hold all your money and so that's that's my hope is that by sharing this video at least you'll position yourself should things change uh, should there be some major changes in the world as to what a currency what currencies are in place and um, how things relate to each other that at least you're in a position to protect yourself and uh, because I would hate to see you go through some challenging times as a result. So that's my encouragement. Go check out my website at moneymentoracademy.com. Watch some of the videos that I've got on there. I've got a few presentations of my own, some other videos that are extremely uh, well done and informative. And I uh, hope you learn lots. And then leave me a comment below and let me know what you learned. So that's all I got for you today. Make it a great day and uh, all the best. Best of success. Bye for now.